Hello and welcome to Everydad DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we're going to be trying to fix my angle grinder. Uh, it's got an intermittent problem whereby when you have it on it turns itself on and off. Uh, it's actually quite dangerous because you can put it down thinking it's off and when you pick it up then it starts. Um, I'll show you exactly what I mean now in a second. Hopefully it's going to be something nice and simple like a broken wire. And yeah, so stick with me and let's get started. Okay, so I just want to quickly go through how I troubleshoot stuff. So I always start with the simplest thing first. So that would be your plug, your fuse, uh, your wire. Make sure there's no breaks or anything like that. Make sure you're actually getting power into it. Um, if you're getting power all the way to it, then use a multimeter to verify that it's actually getting into where it needs to go. Um, and then onto other stuff like I'll check the brushes, the aperture. Um, and after that, there's not a lot left inside the angle grinder that I can fix. Um, yeah, so what, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the simplest stuff and I'm going to work my way through. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what happens then when I turn it on. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off this wire. Um, I'm thinking there might be a break under here or if there's not a break there, maybe it's come loose inside. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to pull the cover off and get at this wire. <clears throat> Make sure it's plugged out. Actually what has happened by the look of it is there's a little split here, um, I don't know whether it's just broke or something, but there's actually a little hole there. Um, I don't see any hole in this sleeve, so I don't think it was cut with anything. I think what's happened is it's probably split from being wobbled. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it off here. And I'm going to rejoin it in and hopefully that will fix it. It just so happens that I have some of these um, little terminators uh, lying around. So you just push it through until the wire comes out the other side. Put your vice grips on and give it a squeeze. And that should be held on. And I always give it a second one just to be sure. Just move a couple of mil up and do it again. So I'm just going to put them back up to through now like they were. So blue one was on this side and the brown one was on this side now so just give it a pull test see if it stays in it seems to be staying in perfectly um, I'm happy with the connections on this side so I'm just going to put it back together now and I'd say that should be our problem solved. Right, let's just test it out then. So it's off. Okay, so as you can hear, it's back working again. Every time I press the button, it comes on. So that's all the problem was. Okay, so that brings us to the end of our video. Thankfully, it was a nice simple fix today. It was pretty much the first thing we checked. Um, I had a fair idea that when I wiggled the wire that it was going to be something to do with either a broken wire or a loose wire inside. And thankfully it was. 
um yeah so thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button see you in the next one